Implementing VAT in Busy for UAE and Saudi Arabia In this presentation, we will discuss about implementing VAT in Busy for UAE and Saudi Arabia. Basically, we will discuss about various VAT related masters like sale purchase type, tax category and how you will use these masters in transactions and how you will enter VAT related transactions. Whether you are a new user of Busy or an existing user, you will find it very easy and simple to implement VAT in Busy. Under this presentation, we'll start from very basic and very scratch. Considering you are a new user, we'll start from creating a company. So first of all, we'll go to company menu, use create company option and create a new company. If you are our existing customer, you can skip this step. This is only for the new users. Otherwise, you do not need to create a new company for implementing VAT. Specify company name, print name, country, Emirates. Financial year beginning from and books commencing from, specify address of your company, IT pen, telephone number, email ID, specify currency related details like currency symbol, string, substring, font, character and then in the VAT GST information box, first of all you will specify why in the enable VAT GST data field. Basically by specifying why in this data field you are specifying that you want to enable VAT or GST in your company. As we are making this presentation for UAE and Saudi Arabia country and in these countries currently VAT is implemented. So in the type field we will select the tax type as VAT. After specifying the type as VAT if you want you can enable the additional tax surcharge in your company by specifying why in the enable additional tax surcharge data field. Specify the TRN number and then is the default tax rate 1 and default tax rate too. Basically in certain countries there are lot of VAT rates for various items. In UAE and Saudi Arabia currently there is only one tax rate that is 5% so you can specify 5 in the default tax rate 1. Basically by specifying a value in these two fields, Busy will create sale purchase types and tax categories for only these two tax rates. Otherwise if you leave these fields as blank then Busy will create sale purchase types tax category for all the tax rates prevalent in your economy. So for UAE and Saudi Arabia you can either leave these fields blank or can specify 5 in the default tax rate 1 data field. Click save button to create a company, specify the super user name and password for the company and now after creating the company and specifying the super user name and password you can see the first screen appearing in busy is of features options. Under features option first of all we will click the VAT GST tab to specify VAT GST related details. Since we have created a new company in which we have enabled the VAT so we do not need to go to the VAT GST tab it is basically for our existing users. If we are our existing user then go to features options VAT GST tab and enable the VAT GST reporting data field and specify the type as VAT. Here you can see VAT is already enabled, type is appearing as VAT, TRN number is appearing because all these details we have specified at the time of company creation. Next is create default masters. For new users who have just created the company with the VAT enabled do not need to click this button for existing users click this button to create default masters related to VAT. Basically on clicking this button sale purchase types and tax category related to VAT will be created. Next is responsible persons detail. Click this button to enter details of the person responsible for handling tax details of your company. Specify his or name, father name, husband name, designation. Emirates ID card, passport, address related details, telephone number, email ID and alternate contact details which includes alternate telephone number and email ID. Click save button to save the VAT GST related details. Now we have configured the company for VAT implementation that is we have enabled the VAT in the company whether you are a new user or an existing user. Now in the masters menu you can see three new masters are appearing sale type, purchase type and tax category. We will now discuss these three masters in detail starting with the sale type master. So what is sale type? Sale type basically specifies that what type of sale you are entering. Whether it is a taxable invoice, it is a retail invoice or at what rate tax will be charged in the transaction. Is tax included in the transaction or is it an exempt transaction. So all these details are predefined in the sale type master and you will select this sale type while entering the sales voucher. On the screen you can see a list of various sales types. By default at the time of company creation or by clicking the create default masters button in the VAT GST tab under features options, all these sale type masters are created. Hardly a need will arise to create these masters. You can use the masters as created by Busy. In case you want to create a new sale type master, you can do so by going to sale type add option. 
first of all specify the name of the sale type then in the sales account information you can specify amount to be affected while this sale type is used in the voucher so you can specify the sales account here itself you can specify multiple sales account or you can specify the sales account in voucher itself next is taxation type you can see many options are appearing in it first option is taxable voucher wise that is in the whole bill you can specify the tax in the bill sundry part Basically on selecting this option when you enter a sales voucher then you can specify a tax bill sundry. On enabling this option on the right hand side you can see a tax calculation box with two options single tax rate and multi tax rate. Select single tax rate option if you want to enter only a single rate of tax in the voucher when this sale type is selected or select multi tax rate option if you want to enter multiple tax rates for example if there are more than one tax rate in your economy and while entering voucher you are entering items taxable at different rates then you can select this option it will automatically pick what tax rate will be charged on which item this busy will pick from the tax category master act with the item master we'll discuss it in the later part of this presentation so here we are selecting single tax rate and we'll specify the tax rate as 5% Next option is taxable item wise select this option if you want to enter tax along with each item basically if you have selected this option then in the sales voucher while entering item when you press enter key on the amount field an item wise vat window will appear with each item and you can specify separate vat rate with each of the item or you can select exempt zero rated nil rated option Next is tax invoice yes or no if you specify why in this data field then the transaction will be eligible for tax invoice input tax credit then is region you can specify the region is local that is within emirates or export export you can specify that you are exporting the items within gcc or outside gcc specify invoice heading and description to be printed in the invoice and click save button to save the sale type master so this is the sale type master similar to the sale type we have purchase type sale type we will use in sales voucher and purchase type will use in purchase vouchers you can see list of purchase types on the screen all the purchase types currently you need are created by default by busy and if you want to create any other purchase type you can do so by going to purchase type add option Till now we have discussed the tax related master that we will use in vouchers. Now we will discuss another tax related master which is also very important is tax category master. Tax category master contains all the details about the tax rates. It is what will be the tax rate in case of local transaction, what will be the tax rate in case of export import. All these details are contained in tax category and this tax category master will then be tagged to the item master. Whatever tax category Will be tagged with the item that item will be charged at that particular rate which is specified in the tax category itself you can see on the screen the list of tax category masters created by default by busy if you want to create a new tax category master go to tax category add option specify the name of the tax category type we have selected here as goods rate of tax for local transactions and rate of tax for export import save button to save the tax category master so these are the three new taxation related masters sale type purchase type and tax category now we will see how you will use this masters in another masters or transaction if you are our new user then certainly you will create the account masters and item masters and specify vat related details there itself but if you are our existing user then you need to modify your account masters and item masters to specify certain vat related details in it you can either individually modify each and every account or item master or we have also added the option of bulk updation we will discuss that also in the later part first of all we will discuss how you will modify account and item master individually go to account master and click the add option and create a new account master here specify the name of the account print name we have selected its group as sundry debtor specify the address of the party country uae emirates we have selected as dubai and then is type of dealer that is the party which you are creating is a registered party or an unregistered party then specify the emirates id emirates id will be asked only in case of uae country trn number of the party and click save button to save the party master next we are creating one more party master this is our sundry creators again specify the address of the party country uae emirates dubai type of dealer again this is a registered party emirates id and trn number we have specified and have clicked the save button to save the party master next we will be creating item master specify the name of the item print name group 
Here we are creating a new group by pressing the F3 key. We have specified the group name as television. At the bottom you can see a new field specify tax category. If you specify Y in this data field then you need to specify tax category. Now whenever you will use this group in any of the item the tax category as specified with this group will be picked automatically or tagged automatically with that item. Here we are not specifying any tax category in the group. Now we'll come back to the item master specify its unit and now we'll need to specify the tax category. Tax category if you remember bc has already created so you need to tag a tax category here and specify the vat tax code of the item you must be knowing the vat tax code of the each items you are dealing in and click the save button to save the item master till now we have discussed about modifying account and item master individually if you want to do the bulk updations that is you want to modify or update account and item masters in one go either for all of the items or particular group of the items or account master then busy has provided a bulk updation menu in the masters menu itself you can see on the screen in the bulk updation check update party tier and emirates and check update item code text category masters are appearing by using check update party tier and emirates option you can update party tier and and emirates in all of the parties or group of parties in one go we'll select this option here it's asking for account master range you can either select the all option group option or selected option here we have selected the all option that is all the account masters will be displayed on the screen you can see account name trn country emirates type of dealer is appearing you can update all this field in the party master at the bottom of the screen you can see three buttons are appearing update emirates in all rows update country in all rows and update type of dealer in all rows by individually clicking this button you can specify emirates country or type of dealer and that particular value will be updated in all the rows that are appearing on the screen so it is a very simple way of modifying account masters in bulk in one go next we'll go to check update item code tax category option on the screen you can see currently only one item is created so that is appearing you can update the vat tax code or tax category for all the items using this option in this window also at the bottom you can see two buttons are appearing update tax tax code in all rows and update tax category in all rows to update vat tax code or tax category for all the items which are shown on the screen till now we are done with our masters part that is we have seen the three new masters for the vat how to tag these masters in item and account master now we will start with the process of entering transactions in the transaction we'll see how we'll use the sale type masters and purchase type master so first of all we are entering a purchase voucher by going to transactions purchase add option select the series specify date voucher number and select the purchase type very important you can see list of purchase type is appearing on the screen here we'll select the purchase type as vat 5% taxable which implies that in this transaction 5% vat will be charged and it will be a taxable invoice select party material center item we have selected two items sony bravia tv and samsung smart tv at the bottom we have applied a vat bill sundry at the rate of five percent five percent has appeared automatically because in the purchase type we have specified that whenever this purchase type will be used five percent vat will be charged so you can see on both the item amount 5% VAT is charged. At the left hand side of the voucher you can see 5% is charged on 6400 amount and total VAT amount is 320. On saving the voucher a VAT reporting details window appears in which you can specify the original purchase bill number and purchase bill date. That is the purchase bill number and date as provided to you by the seller. Now we will enter our sales voucher by going to sales add option specify series date and select the sale type here also we will select the sale type as white 5 percent taxable that is this is again the case of taxable invoice where white at the rate of 5 percent will be charged select party material center here also we have selected two items sony bravia tv and samsung smart tv and at the bottom we have applied the vat will sundry at the rate of five percent you can see at the left hand side of the voucher five percent vat is charged on 6700 and the amount comes out to be 335 click save button to save the voucher on saving the voucher busy has asked for printing the sales invoice click yes button to print the sales invoice here we are printing the sales invoice in standard format 
On selecting the standard format option, Busy has shown a message box that standard format is not yet configured. Do you want to configure it now? Click yes button to configure the standard format. In the standard format, you can configure the standard format as per your choice. You can see you can configure VAT related fields also like VAT percent, VAT amount and so on. And on the screen, you can preview invoice. It's showing complete VAT details like at what rate VAT is charged and what is the VAT amount. Next, we are entering one more sales voucher, select series, date, and here we are selecting the sale type as VAT item wise. It is in this voucher, we'll specify the VAT along with each item. Select party, material center, select item. On pressing the enter key on the amount field, you can see an item wise VAT window is appearing, which is showing VAT percentage as 5. It is on this particular item amount, VAT at the rate of 5% is charged. Now, if you are having multiple tax rate, then in the next row, when you enter another item and press enter key on the amount field, again item wise VAT window will appear in which you can specify any other VAT rate. Here, currently, we are using only one tax rate, so we have entered only one item. At the left hand side, you can see the summary of VAT also. On selecting VAT item wise option, you do not need to apply any bill summary as you have specified the VAT percentage along with each item. On saving the voucher, Busy has asked for printing the sales invoice. You can see on the screen VAT percentage and VAT amount is appearing with each item and at the bottom also it's showing VAT details. Next we are entering one more sales voucher. Here we are selecting the sale type as VAT tax inclusive. Is the amount of VAT is already included in the item amount. For example, you have entered item amount as 1110, then that 1110 is inclusive of VAT amount. Basically, Busy will do a reverse calculation to segregate the taxable amount and the tax amount and total of which will count as item amount. Like party, material center, item. On pressing the enter key on the amount field, you can see an item wise VAT window is appearing which is showing the VAT percentage. At the left hand side bottom of the window, you can see the taxable amount and the VAT amount total of which comes out to be item amount. Click save button to save the voucher. Here also, we are printing the sales invoice. On the screen, you can see the preview of the sales invoice which is showing complete VAT details that is how much is the taxable amount and how much is the tax amount total of which is item amount. Now we will have a look at the VAT summary by going to display VAT reports, VAT summaries, VAT summary option. You can see it's showing complete VAT details, input VAT, output VAT, net VAT payable, refundable. So here it is showing net VAT payable. Now we need to enter a payment voucher for the VAT to be paid to the government. For this we'll enter a payment voucher by going to transactions, payment, add option. Here we have debited the VAT output account. Account you must be knowing by having a look at the VAT summary, edit the bank account and click save button to save the voucher. On clicking the save button, a VAT adjustment details window will appear in which you will specify why in the input VAT adjustment detail, select VAT adjustment type as payment, specify chalan number, date, check DD number, date, bank name, code of the bank, period ending that is for, for which period you are paying the VAT amount and interest and penalty if any click ok button to save the voucher in this presentation we have seen how you will create masters related to VAT and enter transactions related to VAT and finally view the VAT summary and enter a payment voucher hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily implement VAT in busy thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel